Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Broderick Thomas. Today we'll be looking at four different stories on conflict. The first story comes from Caitlin. Hey hun, um, I was just looking for my homework, but I can't find it. Do you know where it's at? Uh, hey love, um, I'll put it in the booth. Um, I'm about to get into a meeting, so I'll call you back. The boot. Not sure why he would put it in the boot. Well, my husband told me that he put my homework in my boots. So these are my boots and I'm going to check them to see. Not really even sure why he would put homework in boots, but not seeing anything. I don't know why he would even do that, but now I'm being rushed and might not be able to get my homework in tonight. Oh, I'm really angry, so I don't see anything. So I guess I'm just gonna have to wait until he gets back to me. So my husband finally called me back and I was very angry with him. Why did he put my homework? Why did he say he put my homework in a boot? And I looked in the boot and there was no homework. So he told me that he put my homework in the car trunk but they in South Africa and in other countries too, they refer to a trunk as a boot. In America, we call it a trunk. So going forward, this, you know, we had some bickering going on and the, the negotiation for this is that we're gonna work on our communication. And if there's ever a time where we don't understand each other, we're not gonna freak out. You know, like he had to go to a meeting and I was really rushed for time, so, I needed to take a chill pill and wait until he got back to me. But going forward, we are going to take our time with each other and make sure that we're on the same page and that we both understand where we're coming from. And this should resolve any issues going forward. Those South Africans, they get you every time. Communication is a central part of dealing with conflict. Our next story comes from Mary, I meant Mary Margaret. So, my name is Mary Margaret, and that alone gets a lot of conflict. Um, so, anytime I introduce myself, people a lot of times will ask, is that your last name? Mar Mary Margaret, Margaret's your last name. And I say, no, like, it's my middle name. Oh, so it's your middle name, so you don't go by Mary Margaret. No, actually, I do go by both, and I don't have, I also get, do you have a fourth middle name, a third middle name? No, I don't have another middle name. I just go by Mary Margaret, first and last, first and middle name, and then my last name's Randall. Um, so people are very, very confused by the double name. So a lot of times I get, are you Catholic? No, I'm not Catholic. Um, I'm just, that's my name. Are you Irish? No, not Irish. Um, it's just my name. Um, the truth is I'm from Alabama and a lot of white girls in Alabama have double names um, that I know. So there's, I mean, a hundred Mary blank, whatever it is. Um, I know a lot of Anna blank and it's all their middle name, first middle name. So even in Tennessee, um, it is the South and people like double names. I have to explain it a lot that they're both my name. And sometimes I go to the bank and I go to places where I just sign my name quick and I say Mary or Mary Randall. And then sometimes it'll catch up with me because they call me Mary and then I cringe a little bit on the inside or maybe a lot. And so it's just, it's not my name. And it's like someone, um, you know, just calling you by your middle name all the time, but that's not your name. So I have, I have learned a lot from it, especially when I work with students or people moving from other countries and like especially with other kids in like high schools and stuff and they cannot pronounce this kid's name so they make them a nickname I'm like no you're gonna spend that time and learn that kid's name because that's his name he's gone over, he's gone by that his whole life so um, with that conflict I think I've learned how to how to deal with other people and their identity and be sensitive to where people are at with um, family and name and culture and heritage so there you go. Those Alabama two names, I know about them all too well. Our next story is from Charlotte. 
who's going to talk more about conflict. Hey guys, Charlotte here. I decided to look up the word conflict since this whole course has been about it and we've learned so much on how to deal with it. There was something in my spirit that said, hey, look up the word. And when I looked up the word, it's a Latin word and it's a combination of two words, calm and flicker. Now, this is the most interesting part of my findings. Calm means, it's a Latin word which means together, together with, in combination. Now, how contrary is that based on what we've been taught? And then, flick comes from the word flicker, which means to strike. So, actually, the meaning is together you strike. And what are we striking? What are we, what, what, what are we striking? I think we're striking a balance. Now, that's just my, don't have a book to prove it. But based on the definition of the word, it means to strike together and to be in combination on the same page in accord with striking. And whether that's striking out miscommunication or striking out troubles, but if we look at conflict, as a way to come together to get some resolution, oh my God, it just, it, it changes the way you see it. And, and conflict is, is really about how we perceive a thing. And we perceive based on our life experiences and who we are. And so you have to check yourself when you go into conflict. And as long as you know who you are, and more importantly, whose you are, the desire and need to strike against a person is no longer there. It's to strike together with a person. Thank you, Miss Charlotte. Our final subject has to deal with somewhat of a sensitive subject. I'm pretty sure I just got stopped because I'm black, but I could get upset about this, but I think I'm gonna handle it in a calm way. I'm here on campus to meet Mark Gilliard about a job. All right, let's see. So this is the second time I'm being pulled over because I'm black, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm about to get a little upset. Excuse me, sir. You stopped me twice. You remember me? You remember me? Do you remember me? No. I'm the, you're definitely pulling me over because I'm black. I know you are, and this is racist. Who's your superior? Who's your I'm pretty sure that's probably not the right way to handle it, even though I want to. I think I need to practice on some conflict resolution right now. Yes, sir. My name is Roger Thomas. Um, I think you pulled me over last week, but I just wanted to make sure that you have to say I'm going to school right now. And I'll probably be around here. What's your name? Greg. Greg, it's nice to meet you. Welcome to campus. Thank you. Sir. That was a very sensitive situation. Now we're going to hear from CPP and their four tips for handling conflict. Conflict happens everywhere. At home, with your parents, siblings, kids, at work with coworkers or bosses, on Facebook. We all deal with conflict from the little arguments or disagreements to screaming, office supply throwing fights that cause severe stress. And unless you work alone in a cave, which is not likely, conflict will affect your work at some time or another. In the U.S., conflict is estimated to cost employers well over $1 billion every year. Conflict happens everywhere, however. It's completely natural. It's the result of miscommunication, differences in opinion or perspective, different objectives or limited resources. So if we can't completely avoid conflict in our lives, how do we make the best of these inevitable situations? 
by being more aware. First, everyone is different. No two individuals are exactly alike. Even those genetically identical twins that look exactly alike won't have the same thoughts, feelings, personality traits, and more. Knowing this is the first step to taming that big scary monster that is conflict. Second, though everyone is different, there's a pattern to how most people typically handle conflict. This is called your conflict handling mode or conflict resolution style. There's a tool called the TKI, the Thomas Komen Conflict Mode Instrument that illustrates these five conflict resolution styles in detail. Every conflict resolution style has different degrees of assertiveness and cooperativeness. In other words, how much you're trying to satisfy your own concerns and how much you're trying to satisfy your teammates' concerns. You can map out these five styles, competing, collaborating, compromising, avoiding, and accommodating based on degrees of assertiveness and cooperativeness. None of the styles are better than any other. They are just different. Third, know your style. Though we all use different styles at different times, most people typically have one or two styles that they use most of the time. From a combination of personality, nature, upbringing, culture, work environment, and the dozens of different variations that make you who you are, you have learned that one or two of these styles are the most comfortable for you. Being aware of how you act when in conflict will help you along your journey to mastering the conflict monster. Fourth, learn the other styles and how to use them. Some conflict styles are better used than others for different situations. Maybe your natural conflict resolution style is collaborating, but in a work situation, your project involving multiple other departments is on a tight deadline and you don't have time to sit down with every person on the team to discuss every idea they have for the best way to finish the project. If you know what the other conflict handling styles are and which works best for situations with certain qualities, you can wisely choose to flex your own style to best fit the situation. Here's a funny clip from the movie Anger Management on conflict and how sometimes it escalates even when you're trying to avoid it. Sorry. I think you're in my seat. Come on, pal, I'm already settled in here, huh? Can't you just go sit somewhere else? Supposed to sit in the seat they assigned you. Nobody cares. Just go sit in the seat I'm supposed to sit in. Excuse me. This seat's available. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. <clears throat> no air. Oh, that's too bad. Huh? You're on my side of the armrest. We're not going to have problems, are we? No. <laughs> oh, hey, I wet my jockeys here. <laughs> you gotta get a little of this, Keith. I mean, you like comedies? Oh, yeah, <laughs> huh? I just uh, haven't been sleeping a lot lately, so I was gonna try to catch some. Oh. <laughs> uh, look at this actress here. What is your position on uh, breast implants? I I can just watch the movie with you. Excuse me. Can I get a headset? Certainly. Thank you. Oh, you are 
Uh, miss? I'll be right there, sir. Where's your headset? She's busy right now, but it's coming. For crying out loud, you're missing important plot points. Ma'am? Could you give me a second, sir? I maybe get that headset, please. Do not raise your voice to me, sir. I wasn't raising my voice. Okay, just calm down. I am calm. I just want my headset. Sir, our country is going through a very difficult time right now, and if you're not going to cooperate... I don't know where a headset ties into patriotism. Is there a problem here, sir? I, I don't think so. Can you come to the back of the plane with me so we can have a talk? A talk about what? There's not a problem. The, this the steward is just... Keeps Flight me. attendant. The flight attendant keeps ignoring me when I ask. Calm down. I am calm. What is it with you people? You people. Oh, now wait a minute. I don't mean you people. I mean you people. Sir, I will not tolerate any racist behavior on the plane. This is a very difficult time for our country. I, I know that. I'm not a racist. I just want to watch the movie. I'm only going to say this one more time, sir. Calm down. I'm calm! <laughs> Now we have a cute video from Despicable Me showing exactly what you shouldn't do in conflict by giving in and just giving whatever you want to the opposing party who wants something. Still. Hey! Oops. My unicorn! You have to fix it. Fix it? Look, it has been disintegrated. By definition, it cannot be fixed. That's freaking me out. What is she doing? She's gonna hold her breath until she gets a new one. Ugh. It is just a toy. Now stop it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll fix it. Tim, Mark, Phil! This is very important. You have to get the little girl a new unicorn toy. Eh? Bad boy? No, 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 no. Bad boy. Hey, hey, hey. To conclude, we have a video from the late Robin Williams when he was on Sesame Street uh, celebrating conflict and that being different is something that we should appreciate. Hello, I'm Robin, and this is the Two-Headed Monster. Hello! And we're here to tell you all about the word conflict. Conflict! Right, conflict. You guys ready to show conflict? Ready! Okay, here we go. The two-headed monster showing us conflict. Bajo <clears throat> balena chiki koso wo! Oh, igede mo oda bado! Time out, guys! Guys, I'm not sure you understand. We need to show everyone conflict. Conflict! Right, but I'm afraid that wasn't conflict. No, no conflict. conflict. No, you see, a conflict is when two people fight or disagree about something, and they 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 have a conflict. Oh, conflict! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, conflict. Oh, okay, great. Conflict. We're ready to try again. Okay, here we go. The two-headed monster is now going to show us conflict. Take two. Bonne vision, ma. One of them has a flower. He says is his. That's a promising start. Looks like the other one wants the same flower. This could be some conflict. Vegetable liquor ball! Share? Oh, oh they're oh, sharing. No. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, Look, that was very nice. That was lovely, actually. You were sharing, and that warms the cockles of my heart. But listen, my fuzzy two-headed friend, that was not conflict. No, no conflict. conflict! No conflict. I'm just sorry, it wasn't. Wait, what? I just realized something. What? We disagree. We're arguing about something. So? We're having a conflict.
Conflict? Conflict! That'll be all for us tonight. Remember, when dealing with conflict, to remain calm and to communicate. For Charlotte, Mary Margaret, Caitlin, and Broderick, we're signing off. Thank you.